almost 10 years since I've been here, Kirby. Still as beautiful as I remember it. Out here it is. You'll be seeing some changes soon. Town's really grown up from what I hear. Exploded is more like it. Population's more than doubled in the last few years. Happening all over the world. I know we can't stop progress, Corey, but we've got to find a way to give it some order. Nobody was prepared for what's happened here. Planning failure, public apathy. It's hard to pin down all the reasons. Being on the city council, isn't that a help? We've made almost no progress. Fowler's our next door neighbor. I'd like you to see his operation. Kirby. Damn it. <laughs> Old Skipper's livelier than I've seen in a few weeks. Is uh, his new friend one of yours? Her name's Lassie. Belongs to Corey Stewart here. Corey, Emmett Fowler. Glad to know you, Fowler. Oh, welcome to Fawn Lake, Mr. Stewart. You here to rent a boat or uh, just to admire the view? I happen to be here on business. Corey's been in Washington with the Pollution Control Board. He uh, was asked to come out here to see what we can do about our problem. Huh? Got all the answers, have you? No, but we'll show you what we've learned. Help you preserve and protect what you already have here, Mr. Fowler. Gonna try and stir things up, are you? I hope so. Well, I guess that's what they pay you fellas for. Kirby here's been making a lot of noise before the council meetings for a long time. Doesn't seem to do much good, though. You ever wonder why? People, I guess. They just don't care that much. You? Meaning what? The beach there, those docks. Many more years of this, and you'll have a man lost lake. Stocked with tin cans and polluted beyond all help. Those uh, people on the beach there, they're enjoying themselves. I don't hear any complaints. And they're the ones that are throwing all the trash around, not me. That uh, couple that just took the boat, they're nice folks. They're having a honeymoon, lots of fun. There are about three million nice folks come up here every year, Emmett. Nice common folks who bring nice common dollars. You're getting your share, aren't you? Yeah, I do my best. Ah, look, fellas, the world's full of slobs. Sure, I'm in business to make a buck. 
If these people don't want anything any better, why should I bust my neck to give it to them? Besides, why pick on me? The whole town's no different. Someone's got to get it started. <laughs> Looks like those two are in the same side of the fence already. I'll see you, Fowler. Come on, girl. He's kind of touchy, isn't he? Touch with good sense, that's all. out for his morning walk. <laughs> he always come this way? Well, he knows where the best part of town is. <laughs> well, Lassie, you might as well stay here as Skipper. It's not much for you to enjoy at a council meeting. Go on, you two. Have a good time. <laughs> accurate test we found for water pollution yet. You know, the members of your council were pretty considerate. At least they listened. Yes, but they've got to be made to care. I guess I'm impatient, Corey. But it's like Fawn Lake is on the brink of oblivion and time is running out. Well, water pollution's a major problem all over the world. 
cynics like Fowler and those fellas I met this morning aren't completely at fault. Those little folks that we talked about, they're the ones that are to blame. If they demanded better, they'd get better. Businessmen and politicians are sensitive to the wants of the people, but the people have to speak. Uh, now watch. Here's a language that your council might be able to understand. The scientific proof of the water pollution in the lake. According to the color coder, the water pollution in this particular area of the lake is 5% below the minimum for even fish to survive. And there's no telling what we'll find in other parts of the lake. Like Fowler's Dock, huh? Like Fowler's Dock. Help a bad cut there. Oh, that's all right, boy. Come on, I'll get you fixed up. Oh, he'll be fine now, girl. You can go on. You know what worries me most about all this? My son in the Army, my grandson in Fort Worth, all the kids in this messed up world. What are we leaving them? What kind of legacy? Eroded land, polluted lakes and streams, cities full of air that isn't fit to breathe. Not a very bright future, is it? And is there a way to stop it? Do you think it's really possible? Well, I'm an optimist, Kirby. I believe anything is possible. What is it, Lassie? Thank you. 
You're safe now. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Lass is the one that brought me over here. She must have smelled the smoke. I just went to town to get a few things. Usually took Skipper with me. With bad foot and everything, I thought he'd be more comfortable here. Say much. Somehow, with Skipper safe, doesn't seem to be too important. They said it was spontaneous combustion, a combination of oily rags and litter. Some lessons come hard, don't they? It's pretty easy for a man to fool himself. Yeah, it is. You know, I'm going to rebuild. You know something else? This time, I'm going to see that the public gets what's right. Well, it finally looks like we're on the same side of the fence. Yeah. And they're the ones that are supposed to be the dumb animals. <laughs> I had to wait until the fence burned down. 